Hi boys and girls, welcome back. Today we're talking about multiplication and division fact families. Objective, I can use fact families to practice multiplication and division facts. This is a multiplication and division fact triangle. When you see a fact triangle like this, remember that the largest number will always be up here by the dot and the two smaller numbers will be in the corner. We've seen this before for addition and subtraction now we're going to use it again with multiplication and division. Here is a fact triangle. Our directions say make a complete fact triangle using the numbers in the star. We have the numbers 12, 4, and 3. Remember the largest number, which is 12, needs to go by the dot. The other two numbers can go down in the corners. So this is a fact family using the numbers 12, 3, and 4. I need to write two multiplication problems and two division problems. With multiplication, we use small numbers and we want a big answer. So I'm going to do 4 times 3 equals 12. Let's change that pen color so you can see that better. And then we can turn it around and do 3 times 4 equals 12. With division, remember we do large number and we break it down into smaller groups. So 12 divided by 3 equals 4. And then I can go the other way. 12 divided by 4 equals 3. Let's look at another one. This time we have the numbers 8, 2, and 4. Which number do you think would go up at the top? Number 8 goes at the top because it's the largest. And then we can put 2 and 4 down in the corners. Now our job is to create these fact families using number models. We're going to do 2 times 4 to equal 8. And then we'll turn it around. 4 times 2 equals 8. With division, do you remember which number we start with? the largest number. So 8 divided by 4 equals 2 and then the last one, you guessed it, 8 divided by 2 equals 4. Class, now we're going to talk about another tool. This is a number grid and a number grid is a great, great tool for helping us learn our multiplication facts. The first thing I would like you to do is just study the grid and look for patterns. So just take a moment to pause the video and study the grid and look for any kind of patterns on, these, on this grid. Okay, let's talk about some of the patterns. Maybe you've noticed some of these. In the 10 column and the 10 row, here's the 10 column, and a row goes across, so here's the 10 row. If we look down these columns and rows, we see all the numbers end in zeros. In the 5 column, in the 5 row, oh, here's the column, here's the row, 5 column and 5 row, all the numbers end in 0 or 5's. Remember when we multiply by 5's? That was one of our rules, that the numbers end in 0 or 5's. And in the two column, in the two row, all of the numbers end in an even number. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. All of these are even, which means we could split them into two groups and there would not be any leftovers. All right, now I'm going to show you how to use this grid to solve some multiplication problems. So let's take a look at this table. If I wanted to solve 4 times 6, what I would need to do is go over 4 spaces to the 4 column, and then I want to go down by 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And my answer would be right here where these two paths meet at 24. So the answer to 4 times 6 would be 24. 
Okay, let's look at another fact. This one is 3 times 5. So I would go over to the 3 column, and then I would want to go down 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. You'll see right here my answer is 15. You have one of these multiplication tables in the front cover of your math journal at school. This can be super, super helpful as we go through Unit 4. Here's another one, 7 times 6. So this time we're going to go over to the 7, and we're going to go down 6 spots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 7 times 6 would be 42. Let's take a look at the next problem. 2 times 9. We're going to go to the 2 column. And we're going to go down nine spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Notice I can check that I'm in the right space by moving out to the side here. So my answer is 18. All right, I'm going to give you a few here and let's see if you can solve them. What would 10 times 7 be? The answer is 70. Let's try another one. How about, oh, we've already done 7 times 6 here. Let's move on. How about 8 times 4? Answer would be 32. So we can use this to help us with multiplication, but we can also use this table to help us with division. We're going to look at that next. So here is what we would do if we want to use this table to help us solve division problems. Let's look at our first example. 28 divided by 4. What we want to do this time is look at the second smaller number. It's a 4. So we want to go to the 4 column. And what we're going to do is go down the column until we see a 28. So this is the opposite of multiplication. Okay, now I'm going down a column and I'm going to go down, 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 down until I see a 28. Here it is. And then to get the answer, I have to go all the way out to the side. So my answer here is 7. Okay, let's do another one. This time I have... 12 divided by 6. So again, I want to this time start at a 6 column and go down the column until I see a 12. So I'm going to go up here to my 6 column and I'm going to go down. Here's a 12. Now to get the answer, I go all the way out to see what the side number is. It is 2. So 12 divided by 6 would give me an answer of 2. Let's try another one. This time we have 30 divided by 6. So again, I want to look for a 6 column. Here it is, and I want to go down until I see 30. Down, 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 there's my 30. To get the answer, I go straight out to the side. Answer is 5. 30 divided by 6 is 5. Let's see if you can get the next one. What would 72 divided by 9 be? Okay, we'd go to our 72 divided by 9. Here's the 9 column. We go down, 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 down till we come to 72. All the way out gives us an answer of 8. 72 divided by 9 equals 8. Okay, here come the quiz questions. This is quiz question number one. Please take out your math notebook and you need to solve what is seven times four. Pause the video so you can use the grid that you see on your screen and write down the answer to seven times four. Quiz question number two. What is 36 divided by six? This is division. So make sure that you remember what to do. If you can't remember what to do, go back in the video and re-watch the example of how we found the answers. 36 divided by 6. Quiz question number 3.
what is 9 times 8, so back to multiplication on this one, 9 times 8. And your last problem for today is what is 60 divided by 10. So this one is division, 60 divided by 10. Once you have finished the answers in your notebook, please go online and put your answers into the quiz. And I will see you back in class soon. Bye.